So we've been taking in some other phone calls recently about other insects that are not honeybees. And so I just kind of wanted to give a quick explanation on the difference in these nests that you're going to be seeing and the insects that you might also see. Uh, and just so you know, every flying insect is not a honeybee. A lot of people do think that anything that's flying is a bee. And so they give us a call. And uh, then I have to go through the process of explaining the difference in different insects to them so that they understand what it is that they are dealing with. Now, if you ever run into a situation where <clears throat> you want to know what insect you have you can always text it to the number or Mueller honeybee line and we can respond to the picture and say hey this is what you have and yes or no a beekeeper would or would not help now beekeepers only deal with honeybees that's it they deal with nothing else because honeybees are more of a gentle docile species and they also uh, produce honey so it's a benefit for me as a beekeeper to have honeybees because I'm getting money off of that bee by selling and producing honey and other products too but um, so the this is what we've been having calls about here recently, which are bald face hornet nests. So if you see a nest like this, which is typically a giant large circle and then a hole at the bottom and the bees are going, bees, they're not really bees, but they're going into the bottom of the hive like this. This is likely a bald face hornet nest. They are typically uh, a black color and then have a um, white grayish colored face. And uh, that's why they call them ball-faced hornets, but they're decomposers. They actually break things down. They will go after um, animals, like rotting dead animals and rotting fruit and stuff like that. And then their nests are also made out of decomposed material, so they also are kind of stinky. Uh, a lot of times I take these with me to school programs so that the kids can see the difference, but also smell it because ugh, they do not smell very nice at all. Um, but this is one that was actually hanging off of a tree, and so they just clip the branch. A lot of them are only half the size this is a very large one it's totally awesome to me uh, and then we also found out that we have a bald face hornet nest starting as well and ours is on a garage which is actually pretty common you'll find them up at the corners of your houses a lot of times so I just kind of want to show you guys that situation and so this is our our bald face hornet nest that is growing on our garage of course we are animal nerds bee nerds insect nerds and uh, we don't mind it because we were kind of hoping it would grow larger and we could do something with it. Um, but so honeybees, what they do is they have, they build comb and they live on the outside of comb. They are rarely ever openly exposed. So if you're ever asking about a nest that you're seeing, it will unlikely be honeybees unless the comb is on the branch and they're living on the outside of it. If you can see the insect on the outside, very likely could be honeybees, but honeybees don't typically want to live on the outside um, and being exposed to the rain and different elements and things. So if you have a nest like this, it is not a honeybee colony and it is not for beekeepers. It is for an exterminator. So you definitely don't want to call a beekeeper and say, hey, I have bees. They're not bees, actually. They're Vespas, they're hornets, they are uh, decomposers. So nothing beneficial for a beekeeper to do with them. And what we are going to tell you to do is to actually um, uh, you know, call an exterminator and get rid of them. So just a very short synopsis of the different types of um, nests that they have, the very, very large one, and then this one's small because it's just building, but they are not honeybees, and so we don't want them as beekeepers.